Hello, this is Ann Elser, and I'm gonna do a demonstration for how to mix your own ink with gouache, uh, gum Arabic, <clears throat> excuse me, gum Arabic, and water. So I've got a little container of water, and I have a little palette here, and uh, I've got some colors. I'm gonna start with uh, this darker, beautiful green. Uh, my favorite inks to make ink, uh, favorite paints to make ink out of are Windsor and Newton gouache because they're very um, intense. They're very opaque. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this into, come on, there we go, into my container. And I'm going to drop just a little bit of gum. I always use like an e equal amount of gum Arabic. Oops, that's about right. And then I take a stiff brush, a, a pure bristle brush. This is hog's hair, I think. You need a stiff, short brush. And you wanna mix these two things so that they are united and there are no clumps. And right now this is too thick to actually paint with. And I'll prove that to you. Or to draw with. Oh, well, no. That's all right. That's pretty good. All right, so this ink that I mixed up Uh, was one of the reasons why I think it was successful right off the bat without having to add any water is that I mixed uh, the gum Arabic, used the powder form, and used a lot more water. So if you thin out your gum Arabic, you may not have to add any water. But that doesn't mean that you still can't make this more transparent by adding more water, which is what I'm going to do. Hold on a minute. I'm sorry, clean off my nib. All right. Look at that gorgeous color. This is how you load a nib with a brush. You scrape it underneath on top, and then when you go to gather more ink, just take your, your nib and turn it upside down and scrape it like you were scraping the bottom of a bowl. So this is um, a little bit more watery. Looks nice. Nice. Cool. Um, if you get the gum arabic out of this container, uh, you're definitely going to need to add water to your, your mixture. That's very cool. All right, and then I take this, um, this, my little mixture, and I siphon it out with a pipette and pour it into my ink well. And as I use my ink and the level of ink goes down, I keep filling uh, either adding a touch more pigment or uh, keep adding droplets of water. When it gets real watery 
and your ink starts to bleed, you know that you need more gum Arabic. It's the gum that, that makes this stuff, this stuff work so well. Now I'm gonna take the rest of this and I'm gonna add, because I want a pastel version, I'm gonna add a little bit of Dr. Martin's Bleed Proof White. I'm gonna scoop some out. This white is so opaque and so strong. It's really fabulous. It's great all by itself too, and you do not need to add, look at that mint color. You don't need to add any um, gum Arabic to, to Dr. Martin's Bleed Proof White. You can if you want. But. So now I have a more pastel version of this color. Now you can see my hairline is a little thicker and it's because I've got less gum and more water. Um, but it's still pretty acceptable. This is nice. Okay, um, let's do another one. Let's say we mix this with, let's do a little, this is a little bit of one of my favorite, oh my God, look at those colors, uh, yellow ochre. Now I'm going to want to add, and you can also um, add gum arabic powder to this. Oh, what a gorgeous color palette, the teal and the ochre. Getting all. Gum also makes things shiny. It will, your ink will dry shinier the more gum you have. It'll be um, more matte the more water you have. All the inks that I use, I make myself. I'm just gonna scrape some of this off. Nice. All right, the great thing about the gum Arabic is that, hold on a minute. Is that it um, can be scraped off of really high quality paper after it's dried, so which I have done before. They're just so tasty. Uh, let's see what these things look like on a darker paper. There's a beautiful gray.
Yep. Yeah, looks wonderful. All right, and then one of the other fun things you can do is contaminate your inks by dipping in other colors. I'm gonna dip into this green. And watch what happens. So this um, green, I'm gonna mix this up a little bit more. If you chose, this green is not showing up, the darker green isn't showing up very well against the gray, but um, I like to double dip a whole bunch. Um, anyway, so I hope that answers your questions about how to do this stuff. Um, and hit me up with more if you have any. Talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.